If you guys would like to get yourself some official SimC merchandise, check out my Spreadshirt link in the description below for t-shirts, hoodies, mugs and cups. If you do make a purchase, send me a photo on Twitter and I will retweet it. But regardless, let's get stuck into the video. Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back. Welcome, welcome to some more Hearts of Iron 4. We're playing as the United Kingdom of the modern day mod. This is episode 2. Welcome back to the series, guys. If you still are enjoying it and would like to see more, the best thing you guys can do to ensure more content is leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and let me know in the comment section down below where you would like me to expand, or if you're not enjoying the series, leave a dislike. You're more than welcome to do that. So welcome back to the series, guys. We're currently in the 10th of January, 2018, and in today's episode, we're going to be declaring war upon India and hopefully retaking our former colony in the, uh, the subcontinent. In the last episode, we managed to take... Australia, back, and uh, obviously we're playing as Queen, Queen Elizabeth II. She's not, well, technically she's not in just yet. 36%, 24, David Cameron, still at the helm. But, yeah, that's what we're going to be focusing upon. India, we took, yeah, the UK in the last episode. We managed to subjugate Tasmania, uh, making, yeah, British Australia, Barnaby fucking Joyce. The Kiwi is currently um, in charge, God knows why. Um, and it's probably not a bad idea probably to take New Zealand while we're down in this sort of neck in the woods. Um, we also took Ireland, so we have the entirety of that. But guys, let me know in the comments where you would like me to expand. We're still currently in NATO. Obviously, the main objective for this United Kingdom series is to reform the British Empire. We're going to be pushing into Africa at some point, probably through Gibraltar and this Spanish territory. I would love to take out Argentina as well with submarinos. That would be uh, quite cool as well. Right, okie dokie. Artichoke, let's get uh, stuck in. So David Cameron's still in charge, 36%. We're currently waiting for this to flip over. Next election, 2020. Okay, so we're still a little bit further away. Um, we still have a problem with our military at the moment because they're not very thick. Um, so we're currently producing the L129A1, which is quite good. Um, I wouldn't mind getting my maintenance company up, maybe some better main tanks, artillery, probably go down the mobile warfare doctrine. At the moment, we don't really, like, we could go down mass assault, but our, our divisions aren't massive as it is, so we could always switch over, because we will have the population. Air force-wise, air doctrine, we haven't gone down just yet, we've got that research-wise. At the moment, we're currently fortifying the empire. Diplomacy-wise, there's a lot of wars going on. I am using two mods um, that are brand new. I'll put in the description below. I highly recommend them. I was gonna, I was gonna talk about them before. So I'm using the modern-day mod, of course, but I'm also using the chaos mod, which I'll go into diplomacy because there's a lot of wars going on. It's actually crazy at the moment. It's uh, literally quite chaotic. And then I've got a modern day sub mod which gives uh, retextures to most of the units. So here's some Romanian tanks, which are quite cool. Um, what else we got here? Let's look at the Germans. This is some of the German equipment. Then we've got some Austrian equipment there as well. Not every country has unique equipment to them. Uh, and let's go over to the Americans. Yeah, let's have a crack at these blokes. There we go. M16s on the back. There's your snake peg. Actually, let's move up here. Maybe there's more sort of stuff here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. Anyway, uh, we're ready to navally invade India now. So we've got six divisions ready to go. Then we've got 26 here with Stuart. We've got Nicholas Carter here. We have naval supremacy with 52 ships. Jack Slater, our American import. God knows about his ancestry. I actually don't know. But <laughs> I just think Jock Slater is such an American name. Right, and he's got close air support over the top there as well. We've got five nukes in the bag. However, we're actually quite lucky that we can even the even navally invade from India because you do need you do need air superiority, which we do have with our navy, but um, we sort of lack air like we lack air support here, so we're not going to be able to drop bombs over the top. Anyway, wars wise, let's have a look at what's going on. So we've got the Chinese Indian War, which has really kicked off, and Pakistan has actually joined the fray. 
So they're actually fighting on this border here. Uh, India is actually pushed up and over. So expect a lot more of these sort of events in the Chaos mod, which is good. So we're going to hit them from the south, typical British style, hit them in behind here. Uh, also, there was another war which happened off camera, but it was nothing really interesting. Um, Sudan, the Islamic states here, managed to take out Chad, which are now being puppeted as Islamic, which is quite interesting. Anyway, regardless, let's have a crack at the British Raj, if I do say so myself. That's what we're going to recall it after this. Okay, cool. So now let's declare war upon India. Let's hit them, and hit them hard. The United Kingdom has gone to war. God help us. Okay, let's go with our navally, naval invasion. Um, let's probably call everyone in. I think that's probably our best bet. I just need to readjust my microphone, because it's giving me the shits that it's a little bit too far away. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Mwah. Give you a big old kiss. Anyway, right, we're pushing in now. Uh, Germany. <laughs> Bloody Germans. Ah, oh, typical wanting to help out. Sure, Angela Merkel, you are welcome. Very, very welcome. <laughs> probably want to get some... They probably want to take some Indian territory to get some more Volkswagen factories. Um, Non-aggression packs with Hong Kong. Uh, no thank you. So we'll push here and try and take Gao, which we have quite convincingly. Holy crap. Okay, let's send our 26 divisions up and over. How many guys have we got sitting idle here? Uh, over a couple coming from the channel. So what are we sort of working with, with these blokes? These guys have LR, L8s, L850s. They're not very big, eh? I want those divisions to be a hell of a lot bigger. We've actually got some Aussies with us as well. The Tasmanians are coming. Um... Right, okay, so we, we got some air, uh, hmm, yeah, no, right, we can give them, I want to request, no, I've already taken all the forces I can from the Aussies, out of curiosity, we got some here, what are they rolling with, probably orgs, uh, wouldn't surprise me, yeah, they're rolling with F8, F880s, SA18, so how big are these blokes, nah, they're alright, they're just reserve br brigade, what are the tanks, yeah, here we go, so they've actually got some Unimog, and then they've got some anti-tank. Okay, we're going to currently save up our political power, because I want to switch over to all adult serve. We currently have, what, uh, 600k manpower. We've taken a decent amount from Ireland. Population of Ireland, is it 220? 20, 25 million. It's about the same as Australia, from what I can remember off the top of my head. Anyway, we'll send these first six divisions to take the southern half of the island. Then, we'll have the rest push up and deal with Delhi. Okay. Uh, Macau want a non-aggression pact. No, thank you. Same with the Islamic State. Okay, I'm going to call everyone in, because I want NATO to come and help me out with this one. Because, um, even though we've just done a superb tactic here, if I do say so myself. We're actually quite outnumbered. We've only got 36 divisions to uh, India's 80, but the Chinese have 146 and Pakistan has 28, so uh, they're actually about to capitulate nearly. Crap. Anyway, whoa! Boom chakalaka! Mumbai is up in flames. I wonder who was that? So here's one of the aircraft carriers. If you're curious. Anyway, uh, we're waiting for those Brit bongs to get over here. If we can take high Dara bad shit, that'll be alright. Oh, fuck. Watch out, dickhead. Can't afford to lose this um, port. I'm going to take someone off to permanently do that. Uh, okay, got some Olympics going on. Right, what do I want? You're not here yet. There you are now. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's make you do a front line and probably push to here because I want to try and push. Actually, no, I don't want to push that way too much. Push for Delhi. Yeah, fuck it. Just go for. Yeah, that's what you sort of want. Push straight up this way, mate. Okay, and the quicker the better. If we can get some. If we can get an airport nearby, an airfield, uh, that'd be bloody perfect. Probably don't go too much. Our media goes to war. What with Az Azerbaijan? Fuck, alright. 
Anyway, um, no one else seems to be coming except for the Germans. Can we request some units off them? Perhaps. Because it's our war. Uh, nah. Nah, I'm not really interested. But usually, when a NATO member goes to war, everyone's fucking keen to, to get stuck right into it, you know? Okay, Italian investments. The deal behind the European... Da, 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 da. Oh, so we managed to get one civilian factory and one building slot in the Midlands. Ah, we've got some Italianos uh, there helping, which is good. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Right, anyway, we're attacking India. 2020 is the next election. Monarchy is still coming up. Everything's on the up and up. Everything is coming up Millhouse. For the Brits here, except for here. Oh, uh, what? Oh, Pakistan? Is that war with Afghanistan? Oh, those guys are cooked. <laughs> um, I'm quite happy to offer you military access. Nah, 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 I'm not going to do that. Don't worry about that. China put some pressure on. So how well are we actually doing here? It looks like it looks like they've got their shit together actually. And it's a bit more it's a bit tougher than what I would like. Can I see an airfield anyway? That's what we Yeah, we need this airfield here probably. Where's another one? We might need to consolidate for reinforcements. I thought NATO would have been coming out to help us, you know. Um but that actually looks like that's the only Navy. So what we're going to do is we're going to rejig this front line and just sort of hold where we are, be a bit more consolidated. Oh, wow, we've actually lost a couple of units. We need to push to this airfield. So what I want you guys to do is fall back. Oh, we need the airfield, though, don't we, buggy -er? The Germans have sent some units, which is all right. But like I said, I want you to sort of... No, no, no. You need to go actually for that airfield. Swing you around here, mate. Right, we need this airfield quick smart, because then we can get air superiority over the top. Because you can currently see that they've got jet fighters operating over the top of it. Yeah, come on, mate. Push for it. Not sitting, not sitting back. you got to risk it for the brisket. Alright. Let's get some... Better quality stuff here. Right, come on. We need this airfield. You motherfuckers. Alright, so we're holding out now. A bit. Whoa, military Thailand goes to war against Laos. Fuck, alright. Anyway, um, we're trying to get... I'm trying to get an army down here to... And we need this airfield. Like, it is actually imperative that we get it. So, let's give Sir Richard Sheriff a crack at the, um, the top jog. Jog? Job, I guess. Um, yeah. So, we'll get you guys down here. Make a front line there, mate. And we need you to take this airfield. So, do it. Like, constantly focus on it, you know? Alright, you can just join the front line there. So, we've got 22 guys holding. Um, if we were to to push to Delhi, what would be sort of the consequences of that? Yeah, we need air support. That's what we really bloody need. More than anything. You know what? Get rid of this army. And get them to go on that. Nah, you've gone on the wrong one there, you dickheads. That's what we want. Alright, go on that. Push for it. They are bloody holding out. Here. Alright, rejig it again. Because that's what we need. Just give, give them hell. Because if we can grab this airfield, we can operate planes over the top. Uganda goes to war against the Rwandan state. Come on. Yes, we've got it. Excellent. So now we can operate 800 planes in the area, which is absolutely crucial. 
to say the least. So now that means we can drop bombs. We've got six nukes in the bank. We can drop them over. So let's get all these blokes in. And I'm even going to be a bit generous and set the reinforcement rate to a thousand each. Okay, we'll see if this changes things up. We've got, we're actually getting a lot of free military factories uh, while we're fighting in India, which is absolutely fantastic, if I do say so myself. Um, basically what I want you blokes to do here is, I think just hold, like honestly, hold this pocket here, and we'll be fine, you know, just hold where we can. Oh, looks like the Germans are hitting, wow, from a couple of the other sides, so do we have, yeah, how are we sort of operating here? Yep, there we go, so we currently have military superiority over the top. Can we hit high dire, high dire... I give up. Hyderabad. Today, Junior. <sighs> anyway, 5.30 in the morning. Sorry, guys. I do apologize. It's a little bit late in Australia. I'm dribbling smack. Right, what other cities have we got down here? Uh, probably not too many. I don't want to hit that port where their, where their Germans are. Man, they got some planes in the air, though. Let's make a push, I think. What What's the problem? Wow, okay. Friendly superiority, large river crossing, divisions. Some divisions not in position. Are you for real? What fucking divisions aren't in position? Anyway, I'm getting distracted, but these nukes are going to go off when I want to see them. There we go. Boom, chucka laka. Yeah, let's do a little push. Fuck it, why not? Push the angles where we can. You never know, we might be able to take high dar or a bad. Let's just real fucking go for it, eh? Yeah, there we go. Oh, would you look at that? High dar or a bad is ours. Motherfucker, alright, alright, what the fuck? Yeah, there's a lot of shit going on, eh? Pakistan's pushing from the north, China's not doing much. Um. Oh, yeah, 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 here we go. Uganda, and those are doing their thing. So, what's that? Nationalists. Both nationalists are going at it. I'm surprised that didn't kick off anything. Moldova being at war with someone so close to Russia there. Okay, the conflict is still going on headstrong. How are we sort of looking at the moment, actually? Right, we've lost 44k. We've killed 61 of the Indians. Maybe um, we could swing around for an offensive, take the bottom half here. Probably not a bad shout, but... Like I've been saying, it's kind of imperative that we don't lose this. So I'm just going to drop an arty, and I'm also going to drop a unit just to permanently sort of sit there. Right, hang on, maybe swinging around and up might help. Nah, we're just not favoured because some guys apparently aren't in position. Which is fucking bullshit. Oh. Nah, maybe just sit back and wait for reinforcements. I'm blown away as to... as to why their, like, NATO isn't helping me, you know? Fucking hell, the Germans have some divisions. Oh, here we go. Tell in called for military cooperation. Army experience, Navy. Oh, that's all right. Giving us a couple of bonuses. Ah, oh, Benevento. Italiano. All right, so the Germans have come in now. Uh, we might be actually all right to have a crack swing around against them. Yeah, it looks like they... Oh, no, they're still there. I was going to say, maybe they've abandoned, but... No, they haven't. Maybe putting some pressure down in the south might encourage the Germans to hit them as well. Right, there we go. You got the hang of that, mate. 14th of June, 2018. Um, I'm kind of disappointed in NATO not coming in. Like, what the fuck? The Germans were keen and raring to go. Maybe because I haven't got good relations with them. I don't know. What, what, why, like, compared to previous playthroughs, have they not come in this time? Motherfucker, keeps on going to that view. Like, what do the states think of me? Don't mind me. Come on. Why would they not accept? Minus 60. That's odd. Anyway, we'll be right. We could even make our own faction. I've got the, uh, the faction mod in anyway. So we can leave NATO at any point if we want. We're not tied to the constraints of... NATO, but I don't think it'd be in our best interest. Okay, we've cut them off here now. 
Let's surround and kill them. Armenia, Armenia has capitulated. We're about to surround and kill a fuck ton of Indians, though. Which is good for us. Have we secured any more... Naval bases? I don't think we have. Let's push with this last one here. Uh... She's kind of a bit wayward here, boys. Oh, fuck. Someone's been surrounded. I don't think he's been killed, though. No, no, no. They've got some tank here. Swing back around to help him. Where well, we can. Anyway, the Germans are here. Never fear. Alright, swing around and kill you. Push them to get rid of their... Yep. Oh, excellent. Whoa, here we fucking go. What's going on here? Uh, right. The Swiss Confederation Council. Okay. Not... That... That's not really news. They remain to be neutral. Great. Iceland wants to join the EU. Diplomats from Iceland have applied to join the EU. Should a single... Yeah. Um... Fuck it. Why not? We approve. Come on, Iceland. Join. <laughs> Social liberal. Alright. Alright, what do the Germans want? They want to give me some shit. Sure, fuck it, why not? Okay, guys, here we go. We might be able to flip to monarchy now. Anyway, parliamentary crisis. Initially, the great parliamentary crisis annual are broke over over minor loophole in the tax code, rah, 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 that affected our budget in a pretty significant way. Now this has grown into an insult on one side or the other. National prestige and democracy. Or... Yeah, legacy is set up. Right, so the Supreme Court needs intervention, which gives us a parliamentary crisis. We need to set up a commun... Okay, right. Uh, there's nothing we can do, which gives us a... Decree by... W decree by one. Lose political... But yeah, so we change monarchy to another plus three. Yeah, let's do that then, and let's get a plus three for monarchy. We're still trying to hold the north. We might even swing my air force up. Oh, have we got naval... Oh, fuck. Let's drop a couple of bombs on Mumbai and stuff. Anyway. Oh, we we're trying to surround and kill the last of those rebel scum down in the south. We'll break you off and we'll get you guys to form the top line here. We've got a couple of guys just sitting back. Yeah, come on and push back up here. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Oh, anyway, I miss Mumbai going goodbye. Ha. Huh. Anyway, do we get that plus three to monarchy? Yeah, 43%. Queen Elizabeth II should be um, here eventually. Okay, so why? Yeah, we've still got divisions preparing. Uh, that's a problem. I don't know where the Germans bug it off to, but they did. Whoa! All right. What the hell's this? Who were they at war with? Turkey just declared war upon someone. I don't know who. Who were they at war with? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, God. Typical Turks. Stirring shit. Okay, so... What that's gone and done... Oh, we've got some spare stuff here. Let's go with all adults serve. Boom! Six million manpower. Boom chakalaka. Uh, we're probably going to need it because... Yeah. You guessed it. We're at war with CSTO. We are at war with the Russians. It hasn't popped up here, though. Oh, that's what's... It's, okay, right. So, the Armenian-Azerbaijan war. So, Armenia went to war with Azerbaijan and then they joined NATO or something. But it looks like... Yeah, she's all kicked off now, boys. Boys and girls. Um, I doubt there's many females watching this. Anyway. Uh, Moldova joined the People's Coalition. Alright. Oh, fucking hell. Look at that. She's all kicked off now. There's going to be actual fighting on the European border at some point. What that's done for me is that means Russian troops can occupy India, which is not good, to say the least. We're still minus one, which isn't that good, but 
It could be a lot better. Right, can we get my air force operating over the top here? Maybe in central India now. You probably can have a crack. We are destroying their infrastructure quite significantly. Maybe we need to push over the border now, try and hit them, and then just sort of go for it and try and snowball. You know what, well, fuck it. Actually, change it to here. Oh, we've got more guys in here, more than more than... Ah, oh, bugger. Okay, we currently have military um, air superiority over the top here. We can actually try and push the border where we can. But man, things have kicked off, like, big time. Like, look at who we're at war with now. We're not at threat of naval invasion or anything, but that could be... <coughs> oh, this game's giving me cancer. Oh, Christ. Anyway, um, yeah, it looks like these walls have sort of merged up. Um... Yeah, so the uh, so we're in this war here, 124. So the Chinese India war is going on because they're their own faction. We've got the the Congolese and Sudan war. A couple of the African states are going at each other. Who gives a fuck? Um, but then we've got the Pakistan and Afghanistan war. All right. Anyway, let's try and no, oh, come on. We want air superiority over the top. Yeah, we do here. That was technically not a part of the region. My bad. So let's hit. Uh, we're on a, we're out of nukes. Anyway, I was gonna say, gonna say, let's hit them when we can. Just push over the border, and just try and go for it, lads. If we lose a bit, that's fine. We really need NATO help. Honestly, uh, it's not going how I would like. Ideally, we're not sort of in imposing as I would have thought. Maybe we need to take things slowly, like, okay, take this portion, hit that, go for this side here, slowly make our way up, like, hit that there, that's good, hit, just push for that one there, and you push for that because you're fleeing back, you know, like, sort of do, sort of tactile stuff, oh, here we go, we got, yay, we're getting reinforcements, look at that, never fear, the Greeks are here, oh, what the fuck, why is this shit not there now? Go for it, you fucking spastics. Anyway, World War Two's kick, uh, World War Three's kicked off, which is great to see. Yeah, it, they keep on. I don't know what the fuck the Indians are doing, but they, some places they're just leaving it, leaving it right open. Like we're just taking Mumbai. If we push up here a bit more, they're going to be good by. Right, we're getting some resistance to occupation. What we need to do now is, is we need to put on gentle, and that will fix it up a bit. Right, we've still got one more nuke in the bag. Is there a huge cluster of Indians somewhere? I'm not entirely sure, but they're getting navally invaded here now. Um, I actually don't think they're fighting over here. India has capitulated. What? Okay, INS rifle, 11, 1.2. Why wasn't there a, um... Oh, what the fuck? There wasn't a war room because the war's still going on. So the Chinese-Indian war's still going on because Russia hasn't capitulated. Because, oh, wow. Are they at war with Russia as well? Yeah, okay. So we've currently got a Asian coalition and NATO at war with CSTO. So now we have to deal with Russia before we can deal with that. Because we've taken the bottom half of India for myself... But, yeah, that's kind of annoying, eh? Even Pakistan took a fair bit. Oh, the buggers. Okay, guys, unfortunately, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. It's the 13th of October, 2018. India has capitulated. I didn't expect for Russia to be drawn in. So we've got this huge Asian coalition over here. I'm probably going to give them a bit of a break, to be honest. Give Asia a break. Um, I might swing around and try and invade Russia. We could go for that. Or maybe I'm better off getting some more territory in Africa because we've only got, like, the bottom half of India. Um, where we do have Australia and Ireland, but to what we've got to show for, we actually don't have that much stuff, you know? We do have a lot of manpower. The next thing on my list is to fix up our trade. We're exporting a fuck ton of our stuff. Um, probably need to fix up my production a bit as well. Maybe we should go after Argentina in the next episode and maybe pick apart some African countries and allow NATO to deal with the Russian menace. But let me know in the comments where you would like me to expand. 
Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications, notifications for the channel you have to click the bell of course to join the notification squad i do enjoy reading those comments if you guys would like to get yourself some cheap and reliable games check out my g2a affiliation link in the description below maybe you can pick up a strategy game you haven't picked up just yet maybe hearts of iron maybe crusader kings 2 maybe a total war check out my g2a affiliation link in the description below for cheap and reliable games i do recommend going and checking out the prices even there's some really good prices on there Patreon and merchandise link in the description below, along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Ben Simsy. Goodbye. Really close cinematic shots here, pushing through the bridge. Oh, look at... <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there.